Craig here. I just thought I'd do a quick video on the Tormach 38mm face mill. Right. Okay, so the face mill comes, of course, with the uh, face mill itself. Uh, it comes with the torque key, uh, screw, and the face mill itself. You can see there. And of course it comes with the um, the arbor. For connecting to the face mill. Okay, well I removed this and cleaned it off. There's some, uh, some gunk under here, some oil, so I kind of wiped this all off. Actually, these uh, two screws kind of perform the same uh, function. But if you notice the uh, the Allen that's used in both of these, this one's a lot bigger. So maybe they added this. Um, you know, if I'm if it's going to have a small Allen there, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot harder to take it out. So. Um, I guess the idea is to use this one instead, so let me uh, put this on here. Alright, put this screw in here. Okay. There it is, assembled like that. Uh, next thing I need to do is uh, put the uh, inserts in. Okay, well I went ahead and put one of the uh, them on. A little hard to uh, focus here. Okay, there you go. You can see it right there. Um, this basically has two edges. When this edge wears out or chips, you can actually uh, rotate it around, spin it around, and you've got uh, one other tip right here. So, uh, it looks like these already come with a little anti-seize on them, but I'll add a little more when I put them back in, just in case. Uh, this came with this little tube, so I've basically just been putting the uh, screw right into the point there, part there. Grab this. And then just screw this in. Tighten that up. Okay. I got the other one on there. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put the other two on. Okay, well there it is all set up. I uh, got all four of the uh, inserts on there. And the next thing I need to do is set up the, uh, the height on my uh, granite block here. And enter the tool into PathPilot. So I've uh, zeroed out the gauge I'm going to measure off the tips of the cutters and I'm showing 2.4885 and let me check another tip point five one two point five zero sorry two point five zero one two point five zero two Uh, 
Okay. I must have been touching on the wrong spot or something. Looks like they're all uh, around 2.502. Uh, they're basically all within about a half a thou, so I'm going to go with that. All right. Okay, so I'll go ahead and enter this in Pathpilot under Offsets. And looks like the next spot open is uh, number 10. So I'll go to number 10 and put this in as the 35 millimeter face mill. Enter. And we'll put that in with the diameter of, uh, we're doing this in inches, so I'm gonna have to convert that to inches. But the, uh, the length is 2.502, enter. Okay, so I was double checking the uh, dimension of the face mill, the diameter, and it's a 38 millimeter, but I came at coming up with 37.91. I tried making sure it was the exact right angle, uh, measuring at the exact same point from tip to tip, and, but I'm getting, uh, it's not exactly that, so I guess what I'm going to do, of course this is just a, a Pittsburgh, it's probably one of the cheaper, cheapest uh, calipers you can use, but I guess maybe I'll have to get a better one, but uh, when I tested it on a quarter inch end mill, this was exactly a quarter inch. Maybe, I don't know, it's hard to get the exact points on there. I may have been like a, a thou or a half a thou off, but uh, not nearly as far as this is. So, anyways, uh, I'm just going to measure it in inches with my calipers and enter that into Pathpilot and, um, and try that. So, okay, well, this is what I came up with in, in inches 1.4. 925. Um, so go ahead and put that into Pathpilot, right? Okay, I got my uh, Tormach vise mounted up again. I've got a piece of uh, aluminum that I'm going to test the uh, the face mill on. Now I'm just going to uh, set my zeros using the uh, passive Tormach passive probe. Okay, I've got my uh, X and my Y, now I just need to do my Z. Okay, I got uh, got my zero set. So I have the uh, the face mill in here. I've got the flood cool or the um, uh, fog buster set up here. I've got some G code loaded into face mill. This I'm just gonna go a sixteenth of an inch deep. Uh, this is just a first test cut.
Okay, the compressor shut off. Okay, well as you can see, this thing is uh, pretty shiny. This thing's is like smooth as butter here. Very nice. We uh, get a towel and clean this off. Wow, very nice. Alright. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions or anything you'd like me to cover or something, just leave them in the comment section below. I'm glad to uh, read all the comments. Also, if you'd like to subscribe, we've got a subscribe button over there. And uh, there should be a couple videos down below for other videos you might like to watch. All right?